Hi, welcome to this new video. In this week's video, we're going to talk about how you can create virtual machines for free on your Mac using VMware Fusion Player. We're going to talk briefly about what VMware Fusion Player is, and then we're going to go on to download and set up VMware Fusion Player. And finally, we will create a basic virtual machine to demonstrate how the software works. So let's get started. So VMware Fusion Player is a piece of software for Mac OS that allows us to run virtual machines. VMware Fusion Player is similar to VMware Workstation Player in that it is available for Windows and Linux but is more Mac centric. We can use VMware Fusion Player to set up virtual machines running Linux or Windows, for instance on our Mac. And VMware provide a free license for non-commercial use so you won't have to pay to use software. And the other good news is that VMware Fusion Player works on both Intel and Apple Silicon and the download and installation process is the same for both. So with that said, let's download the software. So we are now on the VMware Fusion product page ready to download the VMware Fusion Player. Now one difference between VMware Workstation Player and VMware Fusion Player is that the VMware Fusion Player requires us to register for a free VMware account to get a license key. So if you just scroll down a small amount you should see that we can use VMware Fusion Player for free. We just need to click the register to get your key now link, which we'll do. When the next page loads, scroll down and you should see the license download tab. So click on here and you should see the login or the create an account link. If you already have an account, then log in. If not, then click create an account and complete this registration form here. Once you've completed the registration form, go back to the product page. So you should now have a license code and a download page that looks similar to this. So click the button to manually download the installer. So now we're back. With our download completed, you should see this file in your download folder. So double click to open the installer. So when the window appears, double click on VMware Fusion. So when you do that, you will get this message. Basically what it's saying is that Apple scanned the file for malware and none was detected. So we can click open to continue with the installation. So next you're going to be prompted for a username and a password for permission to install. So we'll go through that. And click OK and then we just need to accept the license agreement so we'll click agree. Now we need to enter our license number that we received earlier so pop it in there and click continue. So when the installation is complete click done and when you click done VMware Fusion Play will start for the very first time. So you'll now get two prompts click OK on the center prompt and now click OK on this prompt here to open the system preferences. So we're going to allow VMware Fusion Play access to accessibility functions of our Mac as it makes the software work better. So click on the lock icon in the lower left corner and enter your username and password. And then tick the box next to VMware Fusion and close system preference window. So we're now ready to start creating virtual machines. So to demonstrate how to use VMware Fusion Player, what we're going to do is create a simple virtual machine. We'll create an Ubuntu Linux virtual machine as an example. So I've already downloaded the latest version of Ubuntu from the Ubuntu website here and that is Ubuntu 23.10. So if you click the download button here, it will start a download if you've not already done so, but I've already done that and it's already in my downloads folder here, as you can see. Now we can just drag and drop our Ubuntu installer ISO on the VMware Fusion Player window here. And you can see it identifies our ISO. So click continue. At this point, VMware Fusion Player will offer us the opportunity to choose Easy Install. Now, Easy Install is a tool that is designed to make setting up the operating system inside our virtual machine a little bit easier. 
we just complete the form that VMware Fusion Player should install everything for us. However, in my experience, I found that easy install can be a little hit and miss, and sometimes you end up having to answer these questions inside of your VM anyway. So today, I'm not going to use easy install on this VM, but please feel free to try it yourself and see what you think. So click continue. And now we're asked if we want to use BIOS mode or UEFI firmware mode. For now, either option works with most operating systems. So I'm going to accept the defaults and click continue. Now, at this point, if you're happy with the virtual machine settings, click finish to save our virtual machine. And I'm going to call it Ubuntu and save. And finally, we will see this message regarding side channel mitigations. So this is a security feature to add more security when running virtual machines. And you can visit the URL in the notification for more details. But I'm happy with this, so I'm just going to click OK to start the virtual machine. So at this point, our new virtual machine is up and running and we can complete the installation of Ubuntu as usual. So thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful today. Please consider subscribing, I would really appreciate it if you did, or leave a comment below if there's anything you might like to see in a future video, and see you soon!